Welcome to episode 10 of this Football Manager 2016 Let's Play series with Arsenal. Today it's a big episode because we're taking on Stoke City in the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. We've won both games against Stoke this year or this season so we really should be winning this one as well and getting through to another cup final. We've already won the Capital One Cup so let's try and win another cup, FA Cup and we're in with a chance of winning the league, a really good chance because since the last video where we defeated Man United in the quarter-final replay. We, we went on to, to beat Southampton in that same video before beating Swansea 1-0, a Cazorla penalty, just helping us scrape through that game. For a decent 2-2 away draw at Old Trafford, um, Urzu opening the scoring, Rooney equalising, then Morata getting another goal before Ashley Young, Young unfortunately equalised in the second half. We then beat Liverpool 1-0, good goal from Ramsey to, to defeat Klopp's Liverpool. And then we've just beaten Newcastle, Cazorla with another goal, and Wilshire getting his first goal of the season for me. Meaning we're currently top of the table, but Man City have a game in hand, which I assume they're playing over the next couple of days. So they'll probably win that and go above us. But they do have Chelsea and Liverpool to play yet um, in the last few games of the season. So there really is a chance of us winning the league if Man City slip up once and we can continue to win games unbelievable run of games in the league and I think we've scored in over 30 games in a row now this season which is crazy we're really on fire in this in, in the uh, attacking element of our um, tactic anyway unfortunately since the last episode Coquelin has got injured for the rest of the season which is a massive blow because he is really very important in this tactic in the, in the ball winning midfielder role but today I'm going to be playing Flamini there. In the last couple of games I was actually playing the other tactic without a, a ball winning midfielder. But I've decided to go with Flamini today. It's a huge game. It's at Wembley. Stoke will be pumped up for this to try and win um, and get through to a cup final. So I'm aware of that situation. I'm going to pull a man back into that usual position. That doesn't really take away from our attacking threat. We have scored you know, nine goals in one game against Stoke. In fact, wasn't it? Uh, was it Stoke we beat 9-1? We've had a very good couple of games against Stoke. Yeah, 9-1 at home. We thrashed them. And we beat them 4-1 a couple of games before that in the away game. So we really are on fire against Stoke. Let's try and score a few more goals. Wish me luck then, guys. Please hit that like button if you're enjoying the series. This, this is the penultimate episode of the series because next episode will be the end of the, the season. Hopefully winning the league and winning the FA Cup if we can get through this one against um, Stoke. Who we really have no excuses because we've thrashed them twice this season. If they get a shock result against us I'll be very upset with the team. So let's go for just the top one. Give them a bit of a passionate boost. That's what I like to do in these sort of big games. Been playing well. Um, scraped a few league results lately but it's helped us to top place. However, like I've already mentioned, Man City do have a game in hand, but I'm really hopeful that they can slip up in at least one of their last few games and we can just go on and win the rest of our games. So, in the comment section below today, I would like you to say which team you'll be managing first on Football Manager. Ah, uh, Yeah, that, that interrupts me. <laughs> Chief with the goal to make it 1-0. Yeah, let me know which team and why you're going to manage them. Maybe because you support them. That's probably the classic answer. Most people start with the team that they support first and then move on to a different team. How are you losing 1-0? Really irritating. But yeah, it'd be great to, to see what teams you'll be managing. This is a stark contrast to my other games against Stoke. We've had one shot. What the hell is my team doing? Come on, guys. Get back into this. Is this going to be a chance? There's one to Sanchez. Sanchez, great save by Jack Butland. Corner from Cazorla into Walcott. Gone for a short one there. Oh, it's over the bar. Ugh. My team is struggling at the moment, if I'm honest. It's not as smooth as it was a few games ago. And we're scraping results. But today we're losing against Stoke, which is very annoying. Okay, another highlight. Here goes Stoke. Flamini wins it back, though. Koscielny into Mertesacker. Over to Bellerin. Can we get an equaliser here? Come on, Walcott. Down the wing. Using his pace. Whip it in. 
Whips it in. Moretta scores again. It's 1-1. 31st goal of the season for him. He's reached the magic 30, by the way. Had a, a bit of a knock over the last couple of games. But he's back in the goals. Lovely finish from a Walcott cross. Here's Stoke on the attack with a throw. Good tackle by Flamini. He's done well today, actually. Back to Alaba. I just wish I could show you a game where we're winning like 9-1, but that doesn't seem to happen. Here goes Stoke. Are they going to take the lead again? It's a good save by Czech. And it's a corner to Stoke. Knocked away. Sanchez. On the counter here into Morata. Can he play it through? It's back to Sanchez. Oh, what was that? We had men over and he's done a strange ball, but Alaba's done well, and that's the end of the highlight. What? So half time, 1-1. One, one. This is not good enough from the team. Come on, guys. Ozil's had a poor game today. He's coming off for... Uh... Kazola can go there. My usual sort of switch. Ramsey's going to come on. Sanchez looking stressed. Well, come on. You're... How have we beaten Stoke? 9-1 and 4-1 and now we're really struggling. It just doesn't make any sense. Come on guys. Pick it up a bit. Really frustrating when this happens. Let's start the second half. Made a few changes to the tactics. A few tweaks in there. I suppose for these sort of occasions, whoever you're up against in, in an FA Cup semi-final or final, the other team, no matter how much weaker they are than you in reality, they're, they're going to put up a fight. Stoke have a good team though, they've got Shakiri, Afalai, Juve's a great striker. Corner, Walcott, and uh, that's blocked by Juve, another corner then. Back to Walcott, whipped in, another corner. I'm not sure if this short, short corner technique works. I've, you can do different routines now in the new game, which is good, so you don't have to always have the same corner tactic for every corner taken, which is useful. As you can see, there was two different types of corner taken. Alaba, into Sanchez. Ah, uh, loses the ball. What's he doing today? Ever since he's had his eye on a move to Real Madrid, he's un un underperformed. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Um, he's been a little bit unhappy and disgusted with me about going to Real Madrid. It's really frustrating. I'm going to take him off. I'm going to bring on Danny Welbeck. It's a big move, a brave move, because, you know, Sanchez can change the game in a second. But he's obviously not at the races today. Corner, Walcott whipped in. Can we get a goal? Oh, yes, finally, Murta Saka. Third goal of the season for him. Oh, thank you. He's taller than everyone in the whole universe put together. And he's managed to climb above the about 17 different Stoke players there and find the back of the net. Great use of hyperbole there. Are we on the way to another final? Scraping out the results at the moment. I like that word, scraping. It's just something about it. It's nice. It's quite harsh, isn't it? Another great word is plunge and plinth. Starting to sound like Miranda, aren't I? Probably should stop. Corner to, to oh, the Stoke. I've forgotten their names. They're on the attack. Please don't get an equaliser. Great tackle, Flamini. He's really sub it, sub, sub there. Can't talk. Performing well in Coquelin's place. There we go. What are we doing here? It's a bit of a strange passing movement. Welbeck. Tackled. Ah, oh, they've won the ball back. That was a chance to get a third, wasn't it? But Koscielny's on the ball. Can we get it up the pitch again? Lobbed over the top. Flamini does well again, winning the ball. Into Cazorla. Oh, Morata makes it three. Surely that's the game. 32nd goal of the season for him. Let's make our final sub then. Cazorla's going to come off for good old Jack Wilshire coming on. Let's see what he can do just behind Murata. In the end, it's been a good comeback and we've played reasonably well. 15 shots to their five. Two click-up chances. Flamini's done actually really well for me, I must say, today. Because all a lovely little ball through. Murata, good finish into the roof of the net. Two assists from Walcott today. He's on a 9.0, doing very well. And two goals from the main man, Alvaro Murata. Flamini's just picked up a yellow. Three yellow cards for me today. Been having to put in tackles at the back. But we've survived. We should go on to win this now with just a few minutes to go. Three minutes to go. We've dominated. 19 shots, 65% possession. After a, an iffy start to the game, we've played really well. And here goes Murata. Can he get his hat trick? Was he going to set someone up? Whipped in Alaba. Blocked. We've won another corner. We've had 22 corners in this game. I've just noticed the figures. Crazy. Walcott with the corner. And it's knocked away.
We just need to... I need to work something out. We have scored from the corners, to be fair. Mertesack has scored. But maybe we need to be taking advantage of, the, of them a bit more. My centre-backs haven't scored a huge number of goals this season. Because she only got a couple in the last episode, as you'll remember. But this is the end. We're going to Wembley again. We're already at Wembley. But we're staying at Wembley for the FA Cup final. Not for the next few weeks. We're not just camping it out. We're, we're actually going to have to play some league games in between. But, great win. Really enjoyed that in the end after a bit of a frustrating first half. Man in the match for Walcott who got two assists, 9.0 rating, four key passes for him. Really good game on the right wing and from his corners as well. You don't really imagine Walcott taking corners but he's doing them for me and he's doing quite well. So I don't know who we're going to take on in the final. Uh, who won the other? Oh, is that is that who we're taking on? Man City? Ah, so it's a Man City Arsenal final. It's well, Arsenal versus Man City for the league, and now Arsenal versus Man City in the FA Cup final. Ooh, ooh, what's going to happen? What is going to happen here? I'm interested to see. I'm sure you are as well. So the last episode of the season heavily involves Manchester City. We've got four league games to go ourselves, and I think Man City have five. We have to hope Man City slip up in one of them. The last game, uh, the last uh, episode of the series then will be probably the, the game against Norwich and then the FA Cup final against Manchester City. Wish me luck for that, guys. Please hit the like button if you haven't done so already. Let me know which team you will manage first on FM16 in the comment section below. Maybe give a few reasons why as well if you fancy. But yeah, thanks for watching. It's been a good episode. I'll see you soon, guys.